God made me in her image. God made me transgender. What is worse, a quick death or a slow death? What is worse, quick perversion or a slow indoctrination of perversion? Right now, we don't have to worry about which one is worse because both are happening. Here we have from the Netherlands, this show called Simply Naked, where these people, these trans people, these, these men want to be women, these women who want to be men in this world of make-believe. Now they want the children not just to accept it, but to experience. So what do they do? They bring these grown people out and parade them in front of these children and unrobe in front of them fully naked in front of them. Geheel uit de kleren zodat wij er wat van kunnen leren. Deze kinderen uit groep 7 en 8 mogen aan hen alles vragen over hun blote lichaam. En vandaag hebben we als gasten transgenders. Dat gaat echt om het gevoel wat je van binnen hebt. Ja, en dat gevoel, daar, dat kan je gewoon hebben, maar daar kan je ook iets mee doen. Zoals ik ook een operatie heb gedaan, maar je kan ook transgender zijn en uh, geen operaties uh, ondergaan. Die heb ik wel wat in mijn broek, maar ik, ben, ik heb nog steeds een, een vulva. En daar voel ik me niet prettig bij. En vandaar dat ik dan passeer in mijn bokser. Met mijn pekker erin. Het vagina was niet van het mangeslag. Um, ja, je laat dus ombouwen naar het vagina. Now this isn't an issue that is that is simply just because of the uh, horrendous nature of transgendered people being paraded in front of the children. No, this would also be an issue if it were heterosexual people, actual women disrobing in front of children, and actual men disrobing in front of children. That would be an issue just as much. We wouldn't tolerate that, but why should we tolerate this? And even though this is in Netherlands, this has also happened in America. We've seen children being taken to drag shows. We've seen children being taken to strip clubs for them to become engaged, for them to become sexually active at a young age. And when we say sexually active, they say sexually aware. It's the same thing because children now are getting a pass to do, act, and to experiment in ways that we never saw before. So that would be an example of something happening quick. But then we also have this slow indoctrination whereby we bring people before children again these drag shows or anything like that where we show or teach them that it's okay one to be a child who is not what you want to be or better put what maybe your parents want you to be here you are born a boy and maybe your parents want a little girl and so they convince you that you are what you don't want to be they'll they'll convince you that the fantasies that aren't really there are there and you should act upon it but you won't act upon it your parents will act upon it and the sickening part nowadays is we've got adults who pretend to be christian either in leadership or someone in the pews who are also advocating for this three nine-year-olds were brutally murdered just for their own bottom line in the ballot box it's disgusting it's hypocritical and by the way as a christian i find it offensive that they would leverage christ's teachings in such a heinous way against innocent people now, this took place a few days ago on the Joy Reid show, and I just want you to notice how often something blasphemous is said. You know, uh, Jim Walsh, I'm, I'm so glad that you, you were available to talk today because there is this thing that's happening where it's kind of hard to avoid the, the sort of Christian element to it. There, there is a moral panic over LGBTQ folks in general, but trans folks in particular. Do you have any idea where that is coming from? LGBTQ are initials that all stand for somebody who's beloved of God made in the image of God. Let's be clear about that. This is all a distraction from hate. There was an ancient God called Moloch. Leviticus talks about Moloch, who was a God that children were sacrificed to in flames. And the Bible is very tough on Moloch. Guns are our new Moloch. Yes. Yeah. Guns are the Moloch. We're sacrificing our children to Moloch. And then the obvious hypocrisy of this person saying, speaking about Moloch, well, I'm sorry, but it seems like this country is actually sacrificing their children, uh, literally one at the altar of abortionists. But then also when you indoctrinate these children and bring them before these adults, you're doing the exact same thing. These adults who are trying to indoctrinate these children into the transgender role. There's a reason why we see this extreme spike in children identifying as something that they were, weren't born as, mainly because their parents are causing them to do so, are pushing them and giving them the okay. No, and, <laughs> and I think children are only unsafe at drag shows when a shooter shows up to kill them. That's right. That's where the threat is. And so he says that children are unsafe at drag show only when a, a shooter shows up to kill them. No, they're unsafe at drag shows by being at a drag show. You are ruining them. 
What is the likelihood that these children at these drag shows, that these children that are being indoctrinated early and often, vigorously, what is the likelihood that they're going to have some sort of a mental, emotional, spiritual effect that is going to be, for some of them, irreversible? How many of them are going to uh, live in a world where they are depressed? How many of them are going to live in a world where they want to kill themselves? How many of them are going to live in a world where they are going through these different surges and so forth and are going to be unhappy? How many of them are going to live in a world where they want to transition and then turn around and regret it and then detransition only to live with the cost of this bad decision that probably in many cases hoisted upon them by a family member, a parent, a friend, or society? I would challenge anyone just to get to know trans people. We are a vibrant, diverse community as diverse as anyone else. And that's really the goal. Did you hear what he said? I would challenge anyone to get to know the trans community. No, do not get to know the trans community. As a matter of fact, trans community, I would challenge you to get to know Jesus. Not the Jesus that this person is putting out. Not the Jesus that tolerates sin. You know, I'm from the great state of Texas. I served in the military. I go to church every Sunday. My faith is very important to me. But no, God is not a her. I get the confusion with the genders and so forth and the pronouns because you are clearly confused. You're not a woman, not even not even remotely attractive as a woman or probably as a man. I'm not trying to be insulting, but you're wanting us to play make believe with you. And we're and and, and anyone with any sense is simply not buying it. Paul says in Romans 1 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because that which is known of about God is evident within them for God made it evident to them. They do not get a pass because they think or they feel. No, it's clear. It's evident. Every other animal on the planet recognizes this. Why can't us as humans get it? In verse 21, he says, for even though they knew God, I mean, they knew about God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their speculations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the incorruptible God for an image in the form of a corruptible man and of birds and four-footed animals and crawling creatures. They change who God is into something that they want God to be, something that they can worship, that they could enjoy. Although this particular guy that they have changed or they have focused on is Satan. And this is the guy that's going to lead them to hell. Verse 24 says, therefore, God gave them over in their lust, in their hearts to impurity so that their bodies would be dishonored among them. For they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them over to degrading passions for their women exchanged a natural function for that which is unnatural. And in the same way, also the men abandoned the natural function of the woman and burned in their desire toward one another, men with men committing indecent acts and receiving in their own persons the due penalty of their error. And we see that God gave them over to their depraved minds, meaning this. Some of these people, unfortunately, though, now we keep trying and we will preach and preach and preach and share and share and share and, and love and love and love as much as we possibly can. But the truth of the matter is many of them will never come around because God has given most of them, many of them over to their own depravity. And ultimately, the reward is going to be death. The conversation that they're having now, they'll be able to have that same conversation in hell. Unfortunately, they will not listen. As a matter of fact, for many of them, the more that you try to share with them the truth, even what's evident, even which, even that which science backs up, that men are men and women are women. XX equals woman, XY equals man. You do not have the ability to change that because you feel a certain way. And unfortunately, though, many will not repent of this. Many will not change their mind. Many will not seek even if they want some peace, even at the cost of being happy and being whole and complete and having joy, they will still hold on to this lie. And so again, we can just simply be vigilant and continue to spread the gospel, to continue to be strong and do not give an inch. Why? Because their souls, people's souls, particularly children's souls are at stake. Amen.